Hey guys, my name's Dale, and you're watching The Factoid. Oh, so it's that crazy time of year again in the Northern Hemisphere. It's that wonderful time of year when everybody looks like they're addicted to cigarettes, and it's so bad they just constantly breathe out cigarette smoke. That was worth it. But as crazy as that may seem, it's nowhere near as crazy as the imperial system that the Americans use. So, in case the world doesn't know, um, the United States doesn't use the metric system. And we probably won't because you got a bunch of old people that are very stubborn and like the old ways. Most Americans actually do learn both. Some ignore it and try to forget it, but we do learn both imperial and metric. Or at least you should be. Probably not if you're from a, a state with a bad education reputation, like Mississippi. Oh, poor Mississippi. So what I would like to do for the world and the Americans is to show you the, some of the crazy systems that we use for measuring length. Telling you the ones that Americans typically use and the ones that we don't probably even know exist. So if you're not American or one of the few people in England that still use this, you're gonna learn something new entirely. And if you are one of the people that know the imperial system, you're gonna learn some pretty crazy measurements. So let's get started. So in case you didn't know, the smallest unit of measurement in the imperial system is called an eh, not an inch. It's called a thou. T-H-O-U. Thou. The, the surprising part is the next biggest is an inch. Now, I just want to give you an image. Oh, the magic D. Use your imagination. The magic D says an inch is about this big. So, comparing that to an SD card, you can see it. It's a, it's a good size. But, to get an inch from thous, it takes 1,000 thou to make one inch. That is 0 0.025 centimeters. 0 0.025 centimeters. That's a centimeter, my friends. It is 0 0.025 of that. What, what are you doing? Measuring like the, the, the width of hair? What? Unless that's probably what it means. That's the only logical explanation I can think of, being that everything in here has some type of weird connection to the real world. But I'm not gonna get into those, because it's weird. So as I said, the next biggest unit of measure is the inch. Now, Americans use inch. We don't use tho, because tho is complete garbage. Oh, tho, forever alone. As I said, it takes 1,000 tho to make one inch. Then there is feet, which takes 12 inches to make one foot. Americans use that too. Then yards. Yards is mostly used in American football. And it takes three feet to make one yard. And that's pretty much where there's a cutoff line for a while for Americans. Then from yards, we typically go to miles. Why? Because everything in between it is pointless. But there is some things between a yard and a mile. Let's get started. The next unit of measure after a yard is a chain. It takes 22 yards to make one chain. So keep chain in your mind, because we're gonna get back to it momentarily. And then after chain, is probably the most ridiculous name I've ever heard for any type of unit of measure. A furlong. A fur freaking long. A furlong. Ten chains make a furlong. A furlong. Really. Good thing we don't use that either. And then takes eight furlongs to make one mile. So, Americans use miles, and then that's about it. So we use inches, feet, yards, miles, and then centimeters and millimeters. But it doesn't stop there. There is one unit of measure bigger than a mile, and that is the league. The league is three miles long. So you know that book slash movie with Captain Nemo called 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? Well, it's actually 60,000 miles. Not as catchy, but even less catchy is the metric system name. 96,560.64 kilometers under the sea. Meh. Oh, but the best of them all is 480,000 furlongs under the sea. That is a correct calculation. Oh, the furlong. If you want to troll the police, you can be like, Sir, do you know how fast you were going? Six Sir, do you know you've been going 60 miles per hour? Actually, sir, I've been going 20 leagues per hour. Thank you. Sir, you better not be using that funky talk with me. Get some every time. You sick of me, sir. A gift for all of my American friends, though, and anybody who understands how big an acre is. Acres are pretty much what we use in America to measure a plot of land. An acre is one furlong times one chain. But I'll leave you guys with that. But my question for you guys is, world, do you think America should conform and use the metric system? Or you can just say no when it's all done. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something new. I got finals coming up next week, and my birthday's on Monday. So I hope that everything works out for me. Especially since I've got finals on my birthday. <laughs> Gag me. 
But other than that, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. Please stay tuned. I got a bunch of actually really cool facts coming up. And with that said, thank you for watching. And remember, never stop learning. Thank you.